Hi, my name is Olivier from Activity Messenger and today we're going to learn how to create very simple ticket sale for your next sporting event. So in this example, we have a gymnastics championship uh, and I'm purchasing an adult day pass. So I'm going to click on the Thursday because that's the date I can come and I only need one ticket. Uh, the account owner is just going to put their name in here and then you can click on the I read and, and accept for the conditions and then you can add the digital signature here and I'm going to click on continue. Now from there, it's gonna show me the invoice and all I, I would have to do is put my credit card uh, information here to make the purchase. So we're just gonna click on uh, confirm and pay later for now. And then the purchase is done. So you can see the invoice. And if I click on download your invoice with tickets, you will see the invoice here. And if I scroll down, I will have my adult day pass ticket with the QR code uh, that can be scanned at the entrance. So that's the process for the client as once they're on the ticket. Now let's go see how we can kind of modify this uh, ticket sale. So if we go into form here, uh, you can see here at the top, we have an image. So this is uh, something you can actually personalize. We integrate with Canva, so you can open up your Canva account. It, you're gonna have all your images, you make your nice logos and you add it to your ticket sale. Then I would click on edit to change the ticket type. So right now it's an adult day pass. Um, you know, I'm asking them to pick one, one event it's just one date, but I can also make it a weekend pass, right? So I could say you actually have to register to all three of these events, right? So you're going to reserve all three events and you have a ticket for all three events. So we have different registrations rule here that we can switch. Um, and we can put a minimum or maximum. We can see the ticket preview and we can even upload an image or add extra information on the ticket line. And then from there, you have the account owner. You can add your conditions, uh, your I write and accept, you know, that you want people to uh, fill out or accept when they're purchasing the ticket. And it's a very simple drag and drop. So we just move things around easily and you can add multiple more questions. If you had any other type of questions you needed, uh, that you wanted to get through when they're purchasing, purchasing the ticket. Now, the next thing I want to show you is we have the attendance here, right? So I can go to the attendance list and actually see everybody who's attended my event. So I, I, I registered for the Thursday. So if I click there, you'll see Harry Potter is there. Um, I, I will then have a ticket scanner to scan the ticket. I can check them in, check them out. The ticket scanner will automatically check them in and out. Uh, and if I click here, I have a bit more information on Harry Potter, but I can also say, okay, I need to message all people who are coming on Thursday. Uh, I click on message here and then I, I'm going to send it to all the participants. And from there I can either send an SMS an email an SMS only or an email. I can schedule it out or I can send it right away. And I can even add, you know, placeholders with the name of the event, the person's first name to personalize the outreach here. Uh, and the last thing I want to show you is we have a um, landing page you can create. So again, it's the same logic where it's a drag and drop integrates with Canva. And I just created this one here where people can pick and choose which type of ticket they want, right? So if you're selling multiple types of tickets, this is very interesting to have everything in one place. So in my case, I, you know, I purchased the, the adult day pass. Um, and then, you know, if I exited the design mode here, this is what the, the, the people trying to buy ticket would see. Now, people, how do people get to this page? You would go to your design mode here and this event ticket sale page, you can embed on your website. So it's kind of a back, uh, a white background on your website and people can scroll through without coming to activity messenger and then also print the QR code. So for the events that we, we actually do, we have a lot of people who just print the QR code at the front. So you don't need like a cash register or a terminal. People just scan the QR code, fill in their credit card. Uh, and then they get their ticket and they're, they're scanned to, uh, to go in. So the, the, the landing page, uh, the QR code would, would go there. And if you click on edit here, you uh, actually also have a unique link where people can click to go purchase the tickets. So if you have any questions or you'd like to use, you know, a system to sell tickets for your next sporting event, uh, visit activitymessenger.com.